He is the greatest enemy of humanity. He swore to lead mankind to hell. He committed the first sin. He told the first lie. He had Adam and Eve expelled from paradise. The incredible life of the devil, man's nemesis. You will watch a chilling video about Lucifer, the devil, who is much closer to you than you think. Lucifer's adventure began long before the creation of the first human being, Adam. You will hear how Satan was a believer who amazed everyone and how he was given the rule of the earth. Especially after the creation of Adam, the process of Satan's jealousy and his transformation into man's worst enemy is quite exciting. Let's start if you are ready. Who is Satan? His appearance was white, pure as light. He was once the white-winged commander of the angels, a being created from smokeless fire from Hellfire. This fire is a poisonous kind of fire that can pass through the pores of the human body. Satan, that time, he was living with the angels in paradise. When Lucifer, Satan, was created, there were no human beings in the world and the jinn were ruling the universe. Satan, who was superior to the angels in appearance and who did not leave an inch of land in the heavens and on the earth to which they did not prostrate, was the teacher of the angels for 20,000 years. Lucifer the most respectable, the most learned, and the most devout of them. Another convention says that he had been one of the renowned four holders of wings, for example, blessed messengers, before God changed him into the detestable Satan. During this time, the jinn began to multiply on earth. As their population grew, they began to meet the angels who had existed long before them. But the jinn were different from the angels for angels were created from light and were always in worship. The jinn, on the other hand, were inclined to disbelief and rebellion. And so it was. After a while, God sent a law to the jinn, who had multiplied over the years and invaded many parts of the world, and called them to worship. A jinn named Taunus and his descendants obeyed God's call and turned to worship. After 4,000 years of worship, the jinn became arrogant and turned away from their creator, and God sent his angels to destroy the misguided jinn tribes. Just like the many human tribes that have been destroyed throughout history, the jinn were destroyed in different ways in different periods. After each destruction, a new era began, and in each new era, Another jinn was assigned to enforce the divine laws on his own people. The jinn of the last dispensation was called Iblis, or Lucifer in Christianity. Jinns created confusion and bloodshed on earth again. God appointed Iblis to lead an army of angels and sent him against the jinn. Iblis defeated these fierce beings with his army. He drove them to deserted islands and caves in the mountains. After he had done this, he said to himself, I have achieved something that no one has ever achieved before. He began to get very proud. Of course, God was aware of his pride, but the angels who were with him did not know this. When God told the angels that he was going to create a caliph on earth, the angels asked, are you going to create a being who is going to create mischief and bloodshed there like the jinn had done before? They said, that is why we were sent against them. God said, I know what you do not know. What he meant here was, I know the arrogance in the heart of the devil that you have not realized yet. Then God asked for soil and the angels brought it and God created Adam but did not immediately breathe a soul into him. Adam waited for forty nights as a lifeless statue thrown to one side. Satan was coming to this lifeless statue of him, hitting his feet and making sounds from it. He was blowing into it like blowing into a reed. 
he said to that dry clay. You are nothing. If I attack you, I will destroy you. If I were to be possessed by you, I would not listen to you. The angels and Iblis came to Adam and began to examine him. Who is this, and what is it good for? What has God created this for? Satan asked the angels, What will you do if God revives him and breathes into him a spirit and makes him superior to you? The angels said, What kind of question is that? Of course we will obey our Lord. Satan realized that when that day came, he would be alone, but he would not give up. When God blew into Adam by his soul, he ordered the angels and Satan to bow down in front of him. But the devil refused to bow, and when he was asked by God, What prevented you from bowing down when I commanded you? God asked. And then the devil replied, I'm superior to him. You created me from fire and him from clay. God said to the devil, My curse shall be on you till the day of judgment. The devil said, Lord, grant me respite until the day the dead will be resurrected. God said, Your request is granted till the day of appointed time. The devil said, Then I swear by your power that I will put them all in the wrong, except among them your chosen servants. God said to devil, Get out from this paradise, disgraced and expelled. Whoever of them, mankind, will follow you then surely I will fill hell with you all. His arrogance pushed him away from the mercy of God and was respited until the day of the judgment. Till then his role in this life is to lure people come astray from the path of righteousness. Satan, Lucifer, or other name is devil, is an evil spirit inciting humans and to sin by whispering their hearts. Although invisible to humans. In Christianity his name is Lucifer, and he was a fallen angel. For Islam, his name is Iblis, and he was not an angel, he was of the jinn. Satans are invisible creatures that God made them out of fire. One of the powers that they have is that they can shapeshift and turn into different animals or even human beings. However, in their original form, they cannot be seen. Satan specifically appeared as different form when he wanted to deceive Adam and Eve. In Christian theology, the devil's main task is that of tempting humans to reject the way of life and redemption and to accept the way of death and destruction. The devil is the leader of the angels who have fallen from heaven because of pride. The world was created as a test and a trial for man. Satan and his accomplices are one of the means to test man who should do his best to resist their evil suggestions. Satan is not a rival to God, but he is one of his creatures. While the angels endow the human mind with reason, advise virtues, and lead to worship of God, the Satan perverts the mind and tempts it to commit lies, betrayals, and deceits, thus abusing the spiritual gift. Satan is actually a title for those who join Devil's Army, trained to destroy humans. The Satans tempt humans into sin. They may teach sorcery, float below the heavens to steal the news of the angels, or lurk near humans without being seen. Iblis, Arabic name of Satan or the Devil, is their leader, the Lord of Demons. He is responsible for various calamities which may affect personal life. The demons, jinn, share many attributes with humans like having free will, the satans are exclusively evil. Further, the jinn have a limited lifespan, but the shayatin die only when their leader ceases to exist. The father of the jinn is Al-Jan, and the father of the satan is Lucifer, 